right now we have two AVID classes and they're both mixed with 7th and 8th graders. Um, the class meets three times a week, Monday for about 45 minutes um, and two other times, Wednesday and Friday for about a block, about an hour and a half. And um, some of the things we do are m motivational activities, team building activities, uh, we have guest speakers in and they go on field trips to universities. This year we've visited USC, UC Irvine, and Cal State Los Angeles. Later on today we're going to do something called philosophical chairs. It's kind of an organized debate and the students um, learn to listen to each other and respond to a question and then they, they write a reflection afterwards. So there's a lot of thinking and reflecting in the class. The students are working in tutorials. We do this twice a week. The students are grouped according to their math class because they tend to have more trouble in math than any other class. And um, students bring in two questions to work on, that's something that they're having trouble with. The questions that they bring in are higher level questions and they help each other to get to the answers. One of the things about tutorials is um, sometimes we would have college students in here as tutors, but we're in transition right now at the end of the year, so the students have learned the role of head tutor, and so that's what you see happening today. But often you would see college um, students helping with the tutorials. For me, and I'm just getting started on, we did the recruitment together for next year, is the idea that they are determined themselves as an individual to advance themselves educationally and to make four-year college their goal. Hi, my name is Noelle Stahl. I teach art um, here at Dana Middle School and you're witnessing the Arts Alive program today. We're after school. The students sign up. Um, it's a voluntary program that the students like to do after school. We have a small group here today working on some of our projects. Um, most of our work is to enhance the campus or it might be for special activities. Um, Multicultural Day was big, so we had a lot of posters for that. We're still finishing up a few. They had to look up the different cultures, um, find some specific elements that would represent those cultures, and then incorporate them in their banners. We also do the murals on the campus, paint teachers' doors, the handball courts, uh, projects related to students' ideas, or sometimes famous artists are used. Um, we also have some clay murals that we're working on and the students will make the pieces and we puzzle them together as a team and put it together. Sometimes it takes more than a year to get that complete, but uh, we keep plugging away and enhance the campus with all the wonderful work that the students are able to do. We come up with uh, artwork that relates to the subject matter of those classes. Um, painting on large scale, the students really love to display, you know, make it beautify the campus and um, they just get a lot out of the arts, whether it's just painting something or performing or coming up with a design element um, related to the different subjects on our campus. I think they really enjoy having their work displayed on campus, you know, and they take pride in um, participating and beautifying the campus. You know, I painted that, look at what I did. And they, they walk around, they show their friends, they love seeing, you know, their work out on campus and displayed and they take pride in that. And I think it's really good uh, self-esteem builder as well. And they just enjoy, you know, it's very therapeutic to paint and I think they enjoy it and it's also a um, the after school program, they can join with their friends. Um, maybe they don't have a class with somebody and it's just extra. Um, they really love painting murals. I don't know, maybe it's just the big paintbrush and they can go have some freedom in that. <laughs> um, we like it because we just really like to come to school and just like help paint the school and we like just doing art all around so we just come out to school to help and paint. It's really fun and then we get to yeah, hang out with friends and we express our feelings with paint instead of anger. Instead of going somewhere else after school, we hang out. Um, a lot of the students are at different levels, so you have to be able to break things down in steps. And what I find is uh, every student can be successful in art, no matter what. Everybody is coming through the art class, and a lot of times 
we don't even know who's, you know, what. Everybody's just a student in the art class. It doesn't matter what the background is or where they are in the academic realm. Um, they can be successful in art. And a funny thing is, I had a student who once, I don't know why I saw his report card, but for some reason I saw this child's report card, Fs in every class and an A in art. Luckily, he pulled it together in high school and did really well, but I was shocked to see that, and I will never forget it.